got rid of my TV in 2006 because I found myself sitting there watching it too much. So now I have this guilt trip when I'm not working. I can't even relax because I'm like, ah. Oh. You know, I have to be working with my hands. I got my undergrad in architecture. When I was 23, worked in a couple firms, you know, just fresh out of school. And then I was like, hey, I don't really, I need, wanted more. You know, I mean, I can rough frame a, a house if I wanted to, but I don't want to. <laughs> you know, I'd rather be in the shop doing more refined pieces, get into more like furniture and product design. When I'm in the office, just AutoCAD and you know computer work all day, it's a different type of fatigue. Like my brain just hurts, you know, and I feel drained because that monitor is such your soul, you know. But when I'm in the shop, I can work 16, 18 hour days, no problem. Some days I'm like, oh, I gotta eat still, you know, but I'm just running, I'm just doing it. Who cut stuff, goon stuff, sand stuff. My uncle, who was a carpenter, he always, told me this once when I was uh, helping him out on his house years ago. He was like, if you don't have time to do it right the first time, when will you have time to fix it? So I'm like, ah. So I've been kind of living, you know, living by that for a while. I had everything from architecture, construction, exhibit engineering. I was trying to hone everything down to like, Something where I could take all this knowledge and like hone it, so I'm trying to get into the furniture game. You know, what do we expect out of a table? What do we expect out of uh, shelving units? What do we, so you know, just trying to step back instead of trying to just design something that's cool or oh, that looks awesome, but something that, that'll last. So this is something I, I did, I'm working on right now and this is a, a motion light, so instead of having a physical switch, it's just, I got sensors in the top holes here. These are prototypes, so there's three different holes. So that's just a kind of indicator light. So to turn it on, you just kind of go like that. I'm still working on it. I mean, there's some things that need to be done. You know, this is a prototype version. I started documenting downtown in 2006. I walked down every street, took photographs of every building, just street views. So it was just sitting in my computer, you know, like I'd update it like every year. You know, oh, this building got tore down, okay. <laughs> you know, and so this was the uh, Detroit on a Platter project we did uh, when we had that art show at Cranbrook, the one by one. My dad was a mechanic. So I was always working, you know, he'd work on cars and I have an old 77 Corvette that I totally rebuilt. Yeah, I totally tore it down to the frame and the body. And I uh, shaved the door locks, shaved the handles, shaved the side marker light, shaved the mirrors, molded in the bumpers, um, rebuilt the motor, the interior is all back to stock, redid a custom audio system. Yeah, it took me about two years. I see my buddies my age, I have families and kids, and I'm always step back and say, man, that'd be kind of nice, you know, just to have that kind of life. It's like instead of taking a left at the crossroad, I went right, and I'm still kind of going right. So me eating ramen noodles for a week is fine. But when I, you know, if I was to have like a family or a kid, you know, saying I don't want to put them into that situation. So that's kind of why I've never gotten serious with everything else other than just kind of like my work. But yeah, it's, you know, I've sacrificed uh, a lot of stuff over the years to kind of, kind of follow the dreams a little bit and see if, see if it happens. You have to filter yourself because 
you, you won't get your point across if you tell them everything. It's funny because a lot of people that know me in the dance world, you know, break dance and stuff, don't know me professionally. And I've always kept them separate, you know, because it's, it's uh, two different kind of mindsets, <laughs> you know. You know, stacking all the knowledge up. It's like I got the undergrad, I got the masters, I got everything in between. I've done this, 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 and this, and this, this. How can now I just have to ball it all up, package it, and start just making something?